Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, story for this week is um, due to popular demand. Is the story behind Marco's um, huge ass traps and neck. Now, brief rundown on um, this series. As you guys, I'm gonna look at my database because I question everybody that I run into that has an uh, overdeveloped body part, and I ask them what they've done to achieve that. And I try to keep genetics out of the question, and I really try to look for uh, the things that they were doing that is quite different because. You can tell when it's genetics. When well, you can tell when it's only genetics, when they're doing the same thing everybody else is doing, but yeah, 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 they look completely different. Then you could blame genetics or steroids or whatever. But when they're doing something completely unorthodox and they have completely unorthodox results, then you might want to, you know, look a little deeper and not jump to conclusions. So, to make this video real quick, um, you remember I made a video telling you guys that when somebody I've, that I've noticed through observation that when somebody, um, before they start bodybuilding, when they use the body part a lot, or they do some kind of activity that uses the body part a lot, when they finally start bulking or bodybuilding, that body part that they used to use for whatever activity, whether it's, um, I don't know, climbing for calves or carrying objects for traps or whatever, that body part responds a lot quicker than everything else. So it's not just genetics, it's just whatever you were using a lot before, like, you know, you run your teenage years, whatever. When you start bodybuilding, that body part usually blows up, right? And I noticed that with countless, you know, countless um, uh, people. So the stuff behind Marco's traps is he used to play rugby in France, in Europe. He's a rugby player. And you guys, if you're not familiar with rugby, it's pretty much football without protection. Rugby is a very, very violent sport. You think football is violent. Watch people play rugby. You see some of the worst injuries you could imagine. Um, they have no pads, nothing. They just, you know, go ham. And in order to play rugby, just like football, he had to do a lot of work on his neck. His coach, his coach had him doing a lot of neck exercises. So at the time, he didn't give a shit about traps. He was just a teenager, just trying to, you know, not get his neck broke. So his coaches had him doing a lot of upright rows, and most importantly, had him doing a lot. Of, by the way, high rep upright rows. If you want to win low reps or high reps, it was high rep training. And um, his coach had him doing a lot of neck movements, like neck bridges. So he would do a lot of, you know, like lay down. Put your neck on the ground and try to you know bridge up, and he will also do a lot of uh, you know neck bridges from the front. And another thing that his coach had him do, he said that his coach will have him like a whole day just training on neck. It's insane, right? Because his coach really believed that the more shock you put into your neck, the more your traps will grow to try to protect your neck, which is ingenious. It's actually true. So even though they were not training traps directly, they were training their neck to make the their neck um, really uh, powerful and your body is quick to adapt and protect weaker body parts so if you try, if you put your neck on a lot of shock your body's gonna grow traps to try to protect your neck um, I like what one, one, one football coach said he said if you want to protect your neck get rid of it you know build huge traps to actually cover it up so they were doing a lot of neck exercises and one thing he actually showed me that he used to do and he had no idea that's the reason why his traps were so big he said they used to do this thing where you know uh, I don't know what they called it they're like uh, tackle dummies whatever where you just charge and fucking like tackle the shit you put your head in between so it, it, it puts a lot of shock on this side of your body and they kept doing that over and over again he said when he was done knowing that because his skin is really white he said he would go home and he would see like red marks all over his traps but at, at the time he didn't even know what a trap muscle was he would just go in there playing football because he wanted to get laid playing rugby because he wanted to get laid and I, you know that, that was about it so he would do a lot of neck training neck 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 because i mean when you play football neck training is important even though you want the helmet and pads and think about playing football without the pads neck training is even more important because you could, you could break your neck so easily so they will emphasize a lot of neck work and um he showed me some crazy shit they were doing and he, they were also doing the thing when you, you and your a group of your friends try to tackle i mean you kind of like uh clutch the other group of friends and the, everybody tries to resist each other so they would do all these things to just put a lot of pressure on the neck region right and uh, he showed me this other thing where they would he would grab the coach will have him grab a person in front of them put their head on their chest and just keep doing this to try to i know that looks suspect but be mature they would keep doing this and try to like resist each other's neck so they were doing a lot of neck work and you know, obviously his neck got strong and things like that. But he wasn't into bodybuilding. And when he started bodybuilding, his traps blew up. And he had no idea why. He just thought, you know, like most people say, genetics, genetics. And it's not until I told him. I was like, look, man. I asked, you guys know me. I'm, I play show like Holmes like a motherfucker. I was like, hey, man. Uh, why are you trapped so big? First thing he said was genetics. And I was like, fuck that. I don't want to hear that excuse. Were you doing anything particular before you started bodybuilding? He goes, no. I never really trained my traps directly. 
And I was like, okay, you know, I kept going home. I was like, nah, I refuse to, to go home with that answer that it's just genetics. Because his stress was just too big. And I, I would ask him again and again. And he told me, no, I don't I don't really remember doing any shrugs or power cleans. I just remember, you know, playing, you know, when we were doing rugby. And I was like, Pause, you were, you were doing what? He says, I used to play rugby. And I was like, bingo. What were you guys doing for rugby? And that's when he listed all these things. But once again, he, he was, he didn't know. He, these were neck exercises. He had no idea that neck training actually causes the traps to, to grow. So that's how I got the conclusion that, wow, man, neck training, I mean, it's common sense. It's a great way to increase your traps. That's why, uh, I, you guys remember I bought a neck harness a long time ago, but I never really got had a chance to use it because there was something wrong with the attachment. It was too small for my big-ass head and my hair. But when he told me that, oh, man, I had this new um, rush of motivation, I was like, oh, shit, man, any any trap help I could get is going to help. So I had the baby mama help me out and, you know, making the thing expand to fit my humongous head. So now I, I, I've been doing it for like uh, almost a month. On the 11th, it's going to be 30 days that I use the neck harness. And I do pretty much 100 reps every day. I, I, usually I do 100 reps all at once or I break it up throughout the day, depending if I have time or not. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's working or not. My traps, they're still lagging, but they're starting to... It's starting to erupt, so we'll see where that goes. So, guys, you know, hope that helps. That's why Marco Straps is so huge. A lot of neck work, and like I said, it's it's no it's no surprise. Look at football players; they do a lot of neck work. Their traps are huge, and um, yeah. So, hope that helps. By the way, you know, it's just a story. You know, pick out what you can, and the rest just filter it out. Team 3D Alpha. Now.